Hi there. Well, it's a little late at night, so I'm taking this video so you can see it. Uh, it's very, you'd have to get up in the middle of the night. This is like 2.30 right now here. And the, what this is a picture of, of the building next door, and the moon is just coming over the, the roof. The reason why I have the light here is in the picture at the bottom right to give you a color contrast. The moon itself has got an orange tint and it's darker than it is normally, at least to my uh, knowledge. And uh, and the reason that the moon is orangey in color is that the uh, dust from Ison is creating a harvest moon effect. So the uh, uh, So what's happening is is that the uh, dust from Ison is now covering part of the light, absorbing some of the light that comes from the sun to the earth. And I actually had a uh, went to a solar flux uh, satellite and and got the data for that. Uh, I'll give a link for that. I'll find it again and get the link and put it in the video. And so you can see that the solar flux is decreasing uh, day by day. And that the, uh, so that there had, so these two things combine with the fact that, uh, that the NASA is, and other co countries are covering up this fact so I think it's best to get prepared for this and of course the space walk is still going on here National Space Station and I expect them that they all complete the, the space walk successfully and say then we have to abandon ship for whatever reason so, exciting times in Ridgemont High. Anyway, so you can see that the, so you can get up at 2 in the morning, you can take a look, you can see the orange glow around the, the moon like I do. And then you should ask people why this is happening. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to look at this. Godspeed.